We will debate among G8 leaders the most relevant and urgent issues on the day, in particular the state of the, league, the global economy and the developments in Northern Africa and the Middle East. The clear objective is to support the democratic and economic aspirations of the 400 million of people in this area. These developments in the Arab world are of crucial importance for all G8 partners. For Europe, moreover, it is our southern neighborhood. We have to listen to those peoples and to offer our support. We will update the other leaders on the situation in the euro area. The EU's heads of state and government have clearly shown that we will not let the euro fail. I see two reasons for cautious optimism. First of all, the EU economy is firmly on the path of recovery. According to the latest figures, the Eurozone is expected to grow by 2% this year and next year. Of the 17 Eurozone countries, only two remain in recession this year. Our macroeconomic fundamentals are clearly better than those of other advanced economies. And this is the good news. Secondly, we have created the tools and instruments to deal with the crisis. I will outline to colleagues how far we have come in 12 months and that the Union's response to the crisis has been bold and innovative. Madame Lagarde, une, une candidate uh, uh, avec une grande expérience, avec un, une personnalité de leadership, et elle a du support non seulement en Europe, mais aussi dans beaucoup d'autres pays dans le reste du monde. Elle est une Européenne. Je crois qu'on a affaire à une candidate qui est tout à fait capable de diriger dans des circonstances de crise cette grande institution importante qu'est le Fonds monétaire international. Thank you very much. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh! 